Hi, DigiTino here from Jinx the Games. Uh, I thought I'd just make a quick sample and record it. It's more easier than uh, explaining it in text. So I got my array list get next. I made I pre-made uh, this array list with all the letters and space, and I have a reset bool. I have a loop and done and failure event then uh, it's type of string and I save it into an array string then I use a build string and I have here a string called builded string and an array string and I store it back into the builded string and the weight is just uh, so you can see what's happening so you don't really need that. And then when it's done, it goes to the idle. And when I click this uh, with the alt button, uh, I can reset it. So I'll set the bool value to true. And I'm gonna set the string value to nothing. But um, you need to change something in the script you just need to remove the required field and then you can leave the uh, value empty so you just click you need to wait until unity is ready again now I don't have the error anymore and I can leave this empty um, I think in the next version from Playmaker this will be uh, solved because the it's not really required to have something in it so okay so and when I get an error it's gonna go to error and I'll press play now and you'll see it's gonna build the string and when it's done it's done when I press it again it's gonna do it again and again and again uh, normally when you add uh, add values to this or you remove some of them uh, it's gonna stop again so if you change it to eight items it's gonna uh, loop until the eight items when you got a hundred it's gonna continue until 100 so it doesn't matter how many there are inside and yeah that's that's the way you can do this thank you for watching